Sorry for the delay. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, so and everything in between. Be quiet. I am talking. Uh, welcome to Far Cry 2. This is one of my favorite Far Cry games just because of the environment that it is in. Apart from all of the goddamn driving plane somewhere or another. There it is. The amount of driving in this game always puts me off, but the fire physics and the gun whatever you want to call them, where they would jam after a while, is awesome. Just the amount of driving. He had a spawn on way earlier than he came on Anyway. Driving takes so goddamn long everywhere. Like, you spend like five minutes driving, shoot for a couple minutes, and then have to drive five minutes back for the deal. I told him the plane's gone, but they don't believe me. Everyone thinks the big planes are coming back. And this goddamn intro is so long you can't skip it. Hey, are you okay? You don't look so good. You tired? I don't know what they have subtitles there, but he doesn't actually say anything. Like the sound cuts out. So I'm wondering if they had him say it and then they just cut it out because audio. Yeah, who knows. Wow, that was quick. Who is a fucky? Oh, uh, you are the jackal. I haven't played this game in so long. I always get put off by the driving in it. Oh well. <laughs> chic, chic, chic. You need living skin. Do I have? What the hell do I have written on my chest? The target's presence in the state continues to be stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Nice. Orders are to terminate. No, no, no. He no, didn't want to delay the plan. I'm still breathing, and you're the one with malaria. Why? I love the calculation of your. But that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it. So do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I remember that scared the shit out of me. Dies, me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. Helps so understand why I'm here. The book talks about men and what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long. First time playing that knife, she scared the shit out of me because it was dark when I first played it. And I was quite interested. And it. He didn't expect it to swing directly above my head. Oh, I'm suddenly <laughs> kind of healthy. Suddenly healthy enough. I just stick that up my arm. Ooh, fuck, that was loud. Give me that pistol. There we go. And one machete, please. Thank you. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I can jump. Let's see. Why would you have a game with C? I hate the game that started off with C. Yep. Here we get to infinitely spawning people. Like, hey, we know you just walked out of the. Wow. We know you literally only just walked out of the um, hotel, but we have no idea who you are, but we're gonna kill you, everyone. I 
cannot remember how to heal. And I can't remember exactly, but I think this is just a... Yeah, that's just just survive time, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And then you get dragged away. I mean, it's, it's either you're supposed to die, or you're just supposed to survive long enough, but I'm not 100% sure. Suddenly healthy. Ah, here we go. Mess, man. That business looks nasty. Oh! Oh, what was H? I was pressing H. Ooh, that's one of the things this game did that all the other ones did. You'd occasionally get it in Far Cry 3. It's you'd snap your bones right back now. into place. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, you know that? So you shot the now. shit out of I me! I a few errands for you, Aaron boy. Get on out here. Get yourself kitted up. There's ammo and meds for you. And an RPG. <laughs> Save game. So this is how the saving works. It, um, there's no points uh these my health kits, I guess, all the way over here. Oh, can I not? Oh, you can't. You can only stabilize. And here is your med kits. You get these syringes, which yep, bring you all the way up. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think you can increase the amount of them that you get. Take that. Yep. Primary weapons, secondary weapons, and special The uh, flamethrower is a double-edged sword to the point where if you use it, you're more likely to die than kill anyone. And this is actually quite a good tutorial. Go out there and fix my shit for me. RPG. <laughs> I don't even think this is an RPG 7. I think this is just like generic RPG. And this is uh, where you first get the ability to uh, do this, you don't get any faster or anything like this, this is just this, oh, you uh, increase the speed of the car, by car, so you don't get more per skill. Is that all I have to do? Uh, I've, I've done that. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Ah, oh, tutorials. Yep, done that. Five, yep. Yep, done that. I'm too good. Oh, this car, okay. There we go. Okay, good. Now that you're mobile, you think you can pull off a raid? The APR's got a forward position half a click south of here. If something bad happened to the shitheads manning that post, no one would ever know. Go take him out. And here is the first driving. The driving in this game is pretty good. It's not horrible, it's pretty weighty. The problem is 100, to make the 100k still really, really slow. And here's a cool feature. The signs have the, um, name, but the red one is the one that you're going for, so this is telling me to go this way, to the safe house. So you can either use the GPS, or you can just follow the science, which I found amazing. Like, I don't think any other game has done this. Like, not that I've played or think of. Like the Far Cry series, definitely Far Cry 1. Oh, God! Uh, shotguns are bloody deadly in this game. And this game uh, has a uh, weapon degradation, for the right word for it. Where the more you use the weapon, and enemy weapons, um, so you can sort of see the condition of this one. 
Oh, let's go find him real quick. How? Okay, I've got another chore for you, but I can't have you falling down in the middle of it. Get some sleep, resupply, and be ready to go in a few. You'll be safe at that house. How did you know I took these guys out? Anyway, you see the condition of those garments. You know, kind of clean, bit of scratches here and there. If I take this gun, it's a bit rusted along the side. This will jam. You know, after a short while, they'll all jam. You can get, um,. This one here may be a good example. Yeah, this is really rusty. All along the barrel, you can see it's quite rusty. So this will jam. See if we can actually get that happen. Okay. What happened there? Oh, this one. Wow, look at the hilt on this uh, handle rubber. As compared to this one. Much cleaner. Anyway, so it'll... Jam, but you can get weapon upgrades so that they um, they take a lot longer to. Yep. 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 Uh, so this is where you can eventually store weapons and pick them up later. Let's buy them from the safe um, gun shops. Uh, this is how you save the game, apart from the big ones, is you set the time. So it's two p.m. now. So I say at the time to uh, 5 o'clock. Let's have a quick nap. Time does pass. Just now 5.30ish at night, 5 o'clock. The thing with the cars is you can fix them, but each time you fix them it's a little bit less than the last time. So you will eventually just get a car that instantly explodes, no matter how fixed you make it. God, this is slow. Ah, uh, shit. Did not mean to drive into that. Uh, I want to go this way. Take a fire grenade. Very hard to play, actually. Because the sights in this game are not great. Ugh. Where did you think you were going, eh? Is that everyone, really? Holy shit, what is this? Oh, no, there we go. It's kicking in again. Oh, wow. Well, uh, I just saw it. Oh. Now, let's save again. Because I have no idea how well this can go. Holy shit, what is this? You know what it says, it's me! Hello! On, Let's go. Ah, it's Marty! Oh no. Mind, man. I'm not gonna fight an invalid. That's a bad case of malaria you got. Don't follow me. And hey, if you make it out of here alive and you see me at Mike's bar, maybe I can get some pills for that cough of yours. Wow, okay. That was a lot of words really quickly. <laughs> I have no idea what he said. So that's me done. And that's the buddy system. Oh! I have the fucking legs of a god stopping it at supposedly 100 miles or 100 k's and just coming to a standstill. Oh, it's a daisy. Knock, knock. Oh, it's you! Yes, it's me. Hey, you made it. Alright. Okay, here's how it works. How the fuck did you do that? You son of shit. rough diamonds. Don't accept paper money from anybody. I wouldn't wipe my ass with it. You do work for the UFLL, you get paid in stones. Now, you one of the guys, not the sharpest blade in the set, picked up a case of diamonds and dropped them off here yesterday. He stuck them somewhere in camp and promptly got shot in the head back in town. Maybe you killed them. Anyway, if you want those rocks, go outside and find them. The case has a tracker you can home in on with your compass. I have no idea how that actually works in this game, but it does. But malaria is nothing to screw around with. You'll probably have some luck over at Mike's bar. All those expat cabrones drink there. Get yourself healthy and come by the front office in town. I'll introduce you to Kakumba. Get you hooked up. Kakumba. Hey, he's coming out. Us luego. Ah, no, no, I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying in. Love you. Anyway, uh, yes. This is how you find money in this game. You using the flashing light. Okay. Will go solid when you're looking at it, and will flash, um, flash more frequently as you 
speed up. There it is. This is thin diamonds. You can get large, um, large diamonds. This is how you buy everything, including the, um, uh, what's the words? Weapon and car upgrades. And here comes the worst part of the game. So I will see you in about 10 minutes or so from driving. It's probably going to be a bit less than that, but we will. And here is the weapon shop. See, instantly out. <laughs> I need you no more, car. Yes. And eventually there will be a guy here who will offer you missions and stuff. Save, health. And my favourite part, the old background noise, where you can buy the G3 KA4, this is where you can buy the weapons that will appear next door, and these will be 100% and you can get infinite ammo, and you can upgrade all that sort of stuff once you get it. And see, but once you get it, or once you're far enough through the game, but once you pick them up, you can get them, and you have dark, this one, like the dark gun, this is a non-lethal, so you can go around shooting everyone with the darts and then run up and stab them with a machete, because that's humane, I guess. You get the silence weapons, of course, and the SPD tracker. There is somewhere the AS-50, the 50 cal sniper rifle. Ta -da. So, there's that. Infinite ammo. Infinite fuel. Infinite explosives. And once you buy these things, you can place them in there. And that whole wall gets filled up with stuff. This is all these special weapons. Nothing there. This is primary weapons, so nice fresh one of them. Power that was loud. So that's that one. This is not that one's there. And that one's there. Oh wow! I forgot because I have the um, this is the collector edition. This is the Far Cry One and Two exclusive. I get a double barrel. Uh, this is a silent shotgun. Uh, what's the crossbow taker? Like? The crossbow takes over that. Oh, I forgot about this. Instead of a pistol, a double barrel shotgun. I will take that. That's. I haven't. I don't remember these being a thing. I need to refill on these. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. I have no idea what these guns are. I completely forgot they exist. This also this version always also comes with a couple extra cards. Ah, oh, it's explosive. It's explosive. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. What's this? Oh, the double shot, double barrel. Wow. <laughs> That's cool as shit. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. So why they need iron sights? I'm not 100 percent sure. I won't argue with though. How many shots do I have this? You only get five shots with the crossbow? Oh that doesn't strike the crossbow, it makes sense. Oh, there's a thing there. Out of the way. Uh minute. You wanna be here? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. They found me! Oh! Good thing. Whoa, you! Oh, that didn't go where I wanted it to. Hold that for me, will you? Wow! This is my only ranged weapon. I've escaped. Uh, ceasefire though. And they're not going to be following me in here. However, I don't think I'm going to be able to get down there again. That's what happens when you get caught. <laughs> they literally chase you out. But this has been the very opening of uh, Far Cry 3 2. One of the better Far Cry ones, if you can get past with the driving. And having to press C to crouch. Why the fuck do you bind it to C? Yeah, what? Hi. What do you want? Nothing. I want your shotgun. Actually, no, I got a bit of shotgun. My shotgun's got a shell holder, which has no shells in it. I'm using this building, Chet. What do you got? You've also got a shotgun. 
I got a shotgun too. <laughs> What's well, gonna be like an elephant rifle? Anyway, thank you for joining me as I started to wander around Africa. I hope you have a good morning, a good evening, and a good afternoon. Whichever one you watch this on, I see you later, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.